Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for November. I hope everybody is doing really well. I would like to take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Taurus out there. So if it's not resonating, guys, you can check your other signs and placements, see if those readings may contain your messages. Please keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, so if it is resonating, get in where you fit in. And as always, Taurus, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that's not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Taurus? Taurus. Taurus. Thank you. All right, Taurus, you are starting out with the Wheel of Fortune. You have the tower in reverse and you have justice. So you, something big is going on in your life here. Um, I do feel like there, it's a positive change, which is really good. I do see that there has been the destruction of something that was not built on a solid foundation. And now you're desiring to balance things out and build something on a very solid foundation. Um, I do feel that this is a very positive change in your life and it's a bit it's something big as well. Let me see who is in your energy. Spirit, show me who is in Taurus energy. All right, so the person that's in your energy has the Page of Wands, Seven of Swords in the reverse. And coming out together is the devil reversed along with the three of pentacles. All right. So the person that's in your energy um, could be a little bit younger than you or they may be just uh, maybe more immature. I do feel like this is somebody new in your energy. With the seven of swords reversed, this person may, may not trust you or they feel exposed for something. There's some sort of deception or, you know, something... Something toxic, lying, cheating, stealing that has been exposed here. But I do feel like it's out in the open. It's been addressed. And with the devil in reverse and the three of pentacles, um, this person has definitely been working on themselves. And they, they're they turning their back on some sort of toxic, deceptive energy. So let's see the energy between the two of you. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So there's a lack of action here. Yeah, there's a lack of action. Let me see um, what's affecting this connection. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. So whatever is affecting the connection is increasing. The energy is increasing in it because we're going from the Six to the Seven. Um, I do feel like there is a sense of you wanting an equal give and take or not giving an equal give and take. That might have been what crashed things to begin with. The person that's in your energy, um, I do feel like this person is being very patient. They're being very calm. They're kind of waiting to see, are you going to give them an equal give and take here? But I'm not seeing that that is in your energy. Um you may feel that you gave more than this person did. So there's there's an imbalance in this connection. And the person in your energy is kind of waiting to see, is it going to balance out? You know, I do feel like they do want to invest in the connection. Let me see your outcome. Show me the outcome for Taurus and this person. The strength card in reverse. Yeah, so there's fear here. Yeah, there's definitely fear. So... Let me see the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. <coughs> Capricorn is also um, very strong, as well as um, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Leo is very strong. Now, with the Queen of Cups in the reverse as an underlying energy, I can see that there is definitely emotions here. Um, and deep emotions at that. However, they're being withheld. They're, um, they're not being shared. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Taurus? All right, we have the Nine of 
coins reversed. We have the Ten of Coins. Again, I'm getting that energy of a buildup. Something is building up. Um, you're moving from loss to now something long-standing. If you've had financial problems, Taurus, I do feel like those are, you know, evening out for you. They're balancing out. Um, you may be surrounded by family or close friends who may be advising you. I do see you surrounded by a supportive network in some manner. Your money is improving, and that's a positive. Why is the tower in reverse? Yeah, you had a loss of money. Something collapsed here, um, and it was because it wasn't built on a solid foundation, but you're, you're surrounded by family and friends, and I feel like that is evening out. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Wands in the reverse. So there was an ending here due to a lack of stability and also a lack of passion or possibly infidelity. Um, I do see with the Six of Pentacles reversed, it, this is an unbalanced connection. There's a sense of imbalance here. So money could have affected the connection as well, but this connection ended for multiple reasons. Let me see why justice is here. Okay, we have the Page of Swords and we have the Strength card. So you might be doing some low-key spying. You're checking up on somebody. Um, I do feel that with the Justice card, there's somebody you want to balance things out with. Um, you could be involved here with a Libra. But it would have been after an ending, after a, a pretty traumatic ending. Um, with the Page of Swords, I definitely feel like you're doing a little bit of low-key spying. I also see you working on yourself. You're definitely working on yourself. Let's see who's in your energy. Why well, is the Page of Wands here? Because it looks like something absolutely collapsed for you. All right, we have the Eight of Coins. We have the Two of Cups. You may work with this person. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, again, I'm getting this energy of somebody who is younger than you. This person, um, this person is feeling that you are a soulmate. They're looking at the details of this connection. This looks like a new connection. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse? We have the Six of Wands, and we have the King of Cups in the reverse. So this person is hoping that things are going to be patient, are going to be, um, are going to be successful between you and them. With the Seven of Swords here, they 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 either feel that you have been deceptive, or they were caught being deceptive, um, or they could have been dealing with a another person, this King of Cups, who was deceptive. There's something about a lack of trust, There's, but it doesn't appear that it's connected to you. So this person could have been dealing with a, a water sign or someone with prominent water in their chart. With the, the King of Cups, um, they were dealing with somebody who was emotionally manipulative. Be careful that you're not dealing with somebody who is only looking for a title um, because this may be somebody who is very patient about that. They're looking for a title. They're looking, um, and that may be why you're you're getting a, a weird feeling about it not being an equal connection. This person could pull away emotionally when they don't get get what they want. So be careful about that. That that does apply to some of you. For others, this is somebody who. There was some information, some deceptive information that came out, possibly about a water sign. This person still is it still in love with that person, and they're they're kind of waiting to see if things will be successful. Um, you're not a water sign, so you could have water prominently in your chart, though. Um, but there's some kind of a, a feeling of exposure. Something was exposed. Something deceptive was exposed. And it caused this person to really pull back and to invest in this connection. Let me see. And now they want success in this connection. So let me look at this bottom energy. All right, we have the Seven of Cups. 
we have the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person has options, Taurus. Um, there's a lot of confusion here because of some toxic energy that was that was revealed. And so I do feel that this person um, has been working on themselves. They could have addictions. They've been working on that. They're trying to walk away from something that is addictive, something that is toxic and deceptive. They do have options here. But again, I feel like this person is not really emotionally available. And it seems like they're not emotionally available because there's another option here that is, is probably even more toxic than this. It's, it's a weird energy that I'm getting. And it's causing confusion. This person is confused because they do have options. They may have walked away from a toxic connection, but they're still emotionally attached to it. But they're de in denial of that. And this is making them emotionally unavailable in this connection. Let me see um, the energy between you and this person. We have the Magician, and we have the High Priestess in the reverse. So you are manifesting this person. You're manifesting a long-term connection. You're manifesting money, and it does look like that's coming to you. I do see you in a high manifestation mode, but very little action. And this person, this person is... Again, there's some sort of secret that's being exposed here. With the high priestess in the reverse, they don't trust their own actions. This is somebody that doesn't trust their intuition and they, therefore it prevents them from acting. So I do feel like they want to work on this connection though. Um, let me look at the... They may be revealing to you that they have feelings for you. Um, especially if this is somebody that you work with. They may have been hiding their feelings, hiding their emotions. Show me what's affecting this connection. Knight of Cups. Three of Coins. Now that's in this person's energy. And the Hermit. All right, so what's affecting this connection is a long-term um, a long-term established connection. It's it's and I feel like that's what you want. You're trying to manifest this. So I do feel like you're giving an offer of love to this person. However, Taurus, it's like you're trying to rebuild from the ashes of of a connection that ended. That created a tower moment from for you. And now you're trying to rebuild. You're thinking about long term. And I see you offering this person this cup of love. You're looking for a solid foundation with this person. But this is an unbalanced connection. And in their energy, they're, they're seeking answers. They're soul searching. They're trying to figure out how to become successful and I'm telling you, there is something to do with a karmic connection that this person is associated with. They're not emotionally available. And it's because of some sort of toxic, deceitful energy that they've experienced or that they have been involved in in some manner. Let me see. So, so be very careful, Taurus, with this person because I, I feel like there's a lot that they don't tell you. And I do feel like they have options, that they may be invested elsewhere as well. Um, and and that, other, that other connection, I do feel like maybe a water sign, but I do feel like they're not telling you about this. There's, it's almost this energy of them secretly wanting to have success in that connection. But it's toxic. So that's why it's unequal. There's an unequal give and take between you and this person. And I feel like you're giving more than they are. 
Let me see um, your outcome. Show me the outcome. Show me the outcome at the end of the week for Taurus and this person. Ooh, Ace of Cups reversed. Page of Wands reversed. Now that's this person's energy. And the Five of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So while you're trying to balance things out, Taurus, I feel like um, I feel like this person's going to dip on you. I do. I feel like this person is going to dip. They're leaving you out in the cold. There's an ending here. And it's this person's energy that's that's bringing this about with the Page of Wands. This is somebody who can be very emotionally manipulative. So in other words, when they don't get what they want, they pull back their affections. And that's exactly what this person is doing. They're pulling back their affections. Um, they're having a tantrum, basically. And it is your worst fear realized. So this is somebody who... They're... They're not getting something that they want here. And they're definitely they're definitely walking away from the connection. This is somebody who is given the appearance here of wanting to, to have a foundation with you. But emotionally, they're not available and they have other options. And they're in a very confused state. And it has something to do with a, a person that they do they have feelings and emotions for they may have walked away from that person because it was a it was a toxic situation but now they're walking away from the situation with you as well Be, and it's because this person is unhealed and they're not emotionally available so i i feel like there's something that's going to happen here that's going to cause this person to withdraw to pull back shutting off their emotions and i do feel that i do feel that um it ends the connection but it ends with them leaving you out in the cold this is a this is a a warning for you cuz i feel like you're trying to balance everything out you think everything's going along just great you're working on yourself you're working on the connection and it could be somebody brings you some information or you find something online. Because this is a spying card. This is you looking into, into this person. You know, looking into, into the situation. And whatever it is that you find out, it causes conflict. This person has a tantrum, basically. And it brings about your fears. It, it reverses the situation for you. And it's because they're walking away, leaving you out in the cold. Bottom of the deck is the five of swords in the reverse. This is underlying energy. And it does indicate um, somebody here is being humbled. Yeah, somebody's being humbled. Now, you could be dealing with a water sign yourself. Um I see strong Leo here. I'm seeing um, Gemini, Scorpio. Virgo, but just be careful with this person because I feel like there's there's something here that they're reacting to from their past, but they're they're bringing that cycle and that that confusion into this connection. All right, so I'm gonna pull an oracle card. Yeah, it's almost like you're getting caught up in somebody else's traumas. Pulling for Taurus. Alright, so we're going to cut the deck. Yeah, we have Kingfisher. So, give me just a second and I'm going to read that oracle for you. It is the first card in the deck, by the way. Um, so, this card is all about... You know, finding balance, having determination and stamina and positivity. Um, it's about resilience, basically. 
So developing resilience in our lives helps us to maintain balance and prevents us from being overwhelmed during difficult or stressful times. Building our resilience may involve developing our mental as well as our physical stamina, focusing on what we can control instead of what we cannot, such as our reaction instead of the situation, and thinking about issues as challenges to be overcome in more positive, hopeful ways. So the message of the card is develop resilience. Yeah, so be careful with this person, Taurus. Um, there's just something off about their energy. I feel like you're getting caught up in their traumas from the past. So, all right. I hope that this has given you some insight. If you have, you know, resonated with this reading in any way, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, Taurus, namaste.